Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Monday, the 12th of September, 2022. In the Atlantic Basin, we do have a couple of areas to keep an eye on. Neither of them look too threatening at all. Very low probabilities of development over the next two days. And as we expand that out to the five-day outlook map, the same. Really low probability here, and I'll show you why these two systems probably aren't going to do much as we progress through this morning update. In the eastern Pacific, of course, we're going to have another development out there. The East Pac has been very busy this year. We'll keep an eye on this feature as it moves to the south of Mexico. The area in yellow there, don't even worry about that. It'll be gone. It's just a cluster of thunderstorms. No big deal right now. In fact, you can see that. There it is right there on the satellite animation. And then our other system, still pretty loosely defined down here to the south of Mexico, but computer models in pretty good agreement that that'll go on to consolidate and eventually develop. Might bring some squally weather to the Baja eventually and even more moisture up to the desert southwest of the U.S., so we will keep an eye on that. Sliding the animation over to the east a little bit. Believe it or not, that is Earl way up there in the North Atlantic, the leftovers of Earl still spinning around, and that will start to have an impact on those very warm, high-latitude sea surface temperatures, a huge gale center up there, large windstorm churning up the seas, whipping everything around. And I'll show you that on the hurricane outlook and discussion later today, how that's definitely starting to take a little bit of that heat out of the far north Atlantic. It's just weird to say that, isn't it? And then here are our two tropical waves in the Atlantic, the deep tropics there. And this is a look at why they don't look like they're going to develop. This is the 6Z GFS. There's the vorticity signature. Look at that front runner right there. It moves along. It looks like it's going to start out and do something, but then... It literally stretches out and basically dissipates over the Antilles there, the greater Antilles islands of the Caribbean. Why? A big part of it is the shear. Look at that. you got west to west-northwest winds just screaming across the Gulf of Mexico, the northern Antilles islands there, and that system, that tropical wave energy runs right into it. This is five days out, and that's exactly what happens. The system would be located about right there, and you're looking at 40, 50 knots of shear, strong upper level winds running headlong into it. You can't get development when that happens. All right, well, that'll about do it from me for this morning. I'll be back this afternoon with a more in-depth look at everything with the hurricane outlook and discussion. So I hope you'll join me then. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll talk to you again later this afternoon.